Hi, this is Michael from Inward. I'm a 43-year-old sales recruiter who's, mind, who's finally managed to find a use for a Venn diagram. I feel like calling my GCSE maths teacher. When I'm talking to clients, we get asked this question a lot, which is, what does a brief look like? And therefore, what does the cohort of candidates look like? And I typically will break it down into three separate things. One, you've got your tech match. What do you want somebody to have sold? Secondarily, you've got your person match. What do you want somebody to be? Are they a new business salesperson, account manager, partner manager, sales manager, alliance manager? What actually are they? And then lastly, what vertical do you want somebody to have sold into? Public sector, finance, retail, manufacturing, whatever it might be. And then the shaded area of the middle of those three circles, that's what the brief looks like, and that's how big your cohort is. <clears throat> now, I do a lot of work in the low-code market, so to give you an example of this, I have a client that is a low-code vendor who are looking for a new business salesperson, and they want somebody who's sold to councils. So their brief <clears throat> is that shaded part across the middle of those three circles. As you can imagine, that is ridiculously narrow. I think there's probably only 10 people in England with that experience. And if none of those guys are looking for a job, they will not fill their brief. So what I'd like to suggest that they should do is widen, the th uh, make the three circles bigger to widen the cohort. So let's say they would look at application software salespeople rather than low code. So could a business process management salesperson do it, ERP, CRM, could one of those guys do it? If the answer to that is yes, then that circle is bigger. Um, and in terms of the public sector, the council bit, well, why do you have to have sold to councils? It's all public domain information anyway. Surely that is just about having worked through a tender process. Now, the bit that they have to keep is they have to have a new business salesperson and I can wholly appreciate why they wouldn't look at somebody from an account management background. But let's just say they what made those three circles bigger, look how much bigger their cohort of potential prospect candidates actually is. Then let's say they just dropped one of the bits and let's say they just looked for application software salespeople who, had, uh, who were new business sales guys. Now look how much bigger the cohort actually is. And the reason that's uh, important is when you look at the candidate pipeline, Bear in mind, I've run this process more than 200 times. You need a total cohort of at least 250 prospect candidates that you're going to reach out to. You'll get rid of 100 of them and shorten them into a long list. You'll reach out to about 100 of them because for some reason, some won't accept in mails. You won't be able to get their email addresses. And your reply rate will be about 20%. And out of that 20%, on average, you're going to end up with two interviews. Now, if all this is done right, out of those two interviews, you'll fill your job. But going back to the Venn diagram, if the shaded bit in the middle does not have 250 people in it, you are just hoping that you're going to find the right candidate and you will still be recruiting in six months. The public sector requirement, that's a live requirement. I'm going to send this video to that person. He has been recruiting for nine months. The target is two million pounds. So it's cost him one and a half million pounds because of the tightness of that cohort. And it's cost him all the opportunity cost of everybody else having filled their vacancies because they're a bit broad, more broader minded and, and he's losing ground to them. That's the concept of the Venn diagram. My contact details are on the screen.